everyone, this is your host Emma Emerson for Golden Icons and we are here with one of Africa's brightest stars. He is not only an actor but he's also a director, producer and he is a multi-talented heartthrob that we all know as Van Vicker. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. It's a pleasure, wonderful to have you in interview me. Great. Golden Icons. Golden Icons and definitely we just want to take some, a few of your, a few of your time. Yeah. So just discuss a few things with you. Cool. First of all, we you have been missing for some time now. What have you been up to, man? We have missed you. Uh, I don't know if I'm, I've really been missing. Uh, I've been around. I've been doing stuff. Um, I've been back and forth in Nigeria, Ghana. Uh, I just actually completed my second production for 2011-2012. Um, I did it with... Um, a, a renowned comedian in Ghana. His name is a Jacko, a really known comedian. It was a wonderful shoot, wonderful guy, you know. So I haven't really been missing. I'm just trying to step up the game on a different pedestal, basically. Okay. And what about people that say that you know what you have not really been that welcomed in Ghana? Well, what is is there any truth to that? I I doubt it. I mean, it's 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 outrageous if anybody says that. You know, it's it's totally not true. Like I said, I just finished shooting. Um, it's unfortunate I haven't shot um, another producer's movie in Ghana for a while. And that's simply because I believe I've been out doing a lot of stuff, you know, outside Ghana. So, but I don't think it's, a, it's, it's an issue. Because if I do decide to stay in Ghana for a longer period than I usually do, I'll get people coming up to me to do movies. The problem is, um, is about timing. You know, it's, it's like when you're in one location, people can have access to you and say, hey, I want you to do a movie. But the problem is, because I'm outside most of the time, yeah. Yeah, they don't have that kind of access that they, they need. Yeah. Um, similarly, when I'm in Nigeria, um, maybe I went in to do one person's movie, yeah. and whilst there, somebody else realized, okay, Van is in town, I want to shoot. So Van, can you shoot a movie? And then I end up staying, and then staying, and then staying, and that's how it works. Right. You know, but uh, you, I don't you, think it's a problem. Right. Nah. Now, um, how do you feel when people say, you know, man, you're, you're, you're good for your looks, but you're acting mm. not so good. How do you feel when people say that? Um, I haven't really heard someone telling me that, mm -hmm. but I think I've read a couple of uh, uh, comments. People say, mm -hmm. I don't think it's a big deal for me, honestly, because I, I believe we all have our strengths and weaknesses as individuals. Mm -hmm. So you might have a really strong arm. I've got the, the leg. I mean, big deal. You know, one person cannot have it all. We are very diverse um, um, human beings. So for me, um, if acting is not probably my best strength, I, I'm sure I've got strength in other places to keep me in the industry. Because I believe if you don't have what it takes, you cannot be in there. I've been in here since 2004. I'm still in, going on strong and doing different stuff. If I didn't have it, I wouldn't be here, believe me. That's right. And um, in, in right now, I was reading, actually, that you you reunited again with Nadia for a hit movie outside of Beyonce. And uh, tell me about that movie. It's called Hands of Time. Yeah, and the Hands of Time is a movie I I directed, produced, and started with Nadia. Okay. We did that. That was my first production for 2011, 2012 um, calendar year, because I intend to do about. Um, Six movie in this calendar year, mm -hmm. and it was wonderful, you know, um, acting with Nadia again because the last time we ever did something together was the Beyonce movie, yeah. and I think that was in 2006. Yeah. Uh, it's been a long time, uh, yeah. Call it reunite, yeah. It was wonderful, and um, that's the story is a fantastic story. I mean, I, I, I had Stella Damascus on the bill for. For it. Unfortunately, she wasn't feeling well at the time, so Nadia was supposed to play the other sister in the movie, yeah. you know. But because Stella couldn't make it, she she took up Stella's role, and then um, I got somebody else to play Nadia's role. But it was it was it was good, you know, having Nadia next to me and playing. Yeah. Now speaking of your relationship with um, some of your co-stars, so what's really going on? What really happened between you and uh, Nollywood actress Tonto Dike? Um, Oh, uh, Please shed some light on that. 
Well, I I don't know. I don't think it was a big deal, honestly. Mm -hmm. But people got online, yeah. got uh, mischievous and saying all sorts of stuff. Well, there there was there was some some um, confrontation from her end, but it's not something I want to really dwell on and say she did this, she did that. It's not a big deal for me. I I'm not the type who who will hold a grudge against someone. Uh, I mean, probably it was a bad moment for her. Right. I usually like to see the positive side uh, of things that come out. So uh, I saw people writing uh, online, yeah. uh, producers in Ghana says, if you don't apologize to Van, yeah. then you will not shoot in Ghana. I, I thought all that was ridiculous, honestly. It didn't make sense to me. Okay. Uh, and no producer told me that. I didn't tell any producer that. Even the story, I wasn't even the one who broke the story. I just saw it online. I'm like already and then I had people in Nigeria calling me up did I did I talk to media guys I'm like no that thing it wasn't a big deal but did she really threaten to throw a, chair, uh, a table or a chair at you well uh, I don't think she threatened nah no she didn't threaten you. nah okay would you work with her again I think we've already worked okay you guys actually worked even past that movie. it's not a big deal man it's not a big deal okay. it doesn't mean I mean if I got a script Right. With, with with someone who is an enemy, mm -hmm. you know, call it an enemy. Right. <laughs> if the person is casted for the movie and, and so am I, I will we work. Have to be professional. Exactly. It doesn't make a difference. Right. We don't necessarily have to be friends, you know, yeah. to work on a movie. Yeah. But it does I mean when you're friends it does give some, you know, mutual um, feedback. You feed off me, I feed off you sort of thing. Yeah. If we're not friends, it may have some, you know, um, impediment in a way in terms of your relationship mm -hmm. but you I mean as an actor you can still get over that right and what do you think of Tonto's acting skills uh, I think she's wonderful right <laughs> okay now um, let, let, let me clarify also the Chika EK um, supposed romance between the both of you yeah fallacy or actual it's it's <laughs> Uh, I'm on TV. I'm trying to just use the right word. <laughs> no, I think I think it's ridiculous. You know, I saw the story in the paper as well. I'm like, I think I was actually on set with her. No, I wasn't on set with her. I was on set with um, UK Ria mm -hmm. at the moment when I saw the newspaper. I'm like, UK, look at this. This is, <laughs> you know, it's funny. It, it's funny how some media people just come up with their uh, stories. I don't know where they get them from. You know, but like to say, there is some truth to to every story. To every story. You know, but yeah. maybe the truth, you know, is not what it took. In fact, the truth has nothing to do with that. We can be close on set as yeah. as as colleagues. Right. It, it doesn't mean we 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 necessarily you know emotionally involved. I mean, yeah. I have nothing to do with that. She she. I don't know even if the story says she got a divorce or she was yeah. getting some a divorce. Yeah, I'm not sure. Divorce. You know, but. I even call Chica, I'm like, have you seen the story? She's like, you're telling me? <laughs> you probably heard about it first. <laughs> you know, you. but that's yeah. that's outrageous. So um, now you're you're directing movies, yeah. and you've been doing that for how long now? Uh, I directed my first movie in 2008. Okay. You know. So um, why did you go into directing movies? Well, I've always loved being behind the cameras. Mm -hmm. um, I had professional um, um, training in 97 yeah. when I used to work with a TV station before I became a presenter and then I started directing and producing all of that in the TV station I just I just enjoy it for me it brings out a different creativity you know in 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 a filmmaker right. um, because that way I think you have more control mm -hmm. over what the outcome of the movie becomes as an actor you just you know confined to the script and and, and your bit yeah. but directing producing it's a whole different ball game that I just enjoy. I just love it, you know. What's the best part about being a celebrity? Best part? Mm -hmm. I don't even know. <laughs> you love it. I just think it, it's got its ups and downs. The best part, I don't know. What is the best part? I don't know. What's the lowest part? I don't know. It's just everything. I you know. Want? I know it's got its good and its bad. Yeah. But the best, I don't know, and the lowest, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Seriously, seriously, I don't, I don't see it as a big deal. You just, it's, it seems to me like you're just living your life, and whatever comes, you just kind of 
take it with the best attitude and you just move on? I mean, you, you can't get stressed over so many things. Right. You will break down and, and die. Right. Possibly, you know, I, I'm an individual. I don't let a lot of things worry me. Yeah, you know, um, I see a problem. Of course, I'm going to try and solve it, right. get a solution. I plan my life. You know, I know what I want to do, how I want to do it, when I want to do it, where I want to do it. I, I got it all, you know, lined up. Right. Obviously, there will be problems, yeah. but I don't let these things worry me. I, I know some people have the attitude of worrying about something that is yet to come. It's like, so tomorrow I'm going to see that guy. Is he gonna get, is he gonna give me the job or is he not gonna give me the job? I don't think it's a need. You know, that that's my that's my attitude. I don't think right. it's a need to worry about something that is yet to happen or something that has happened. Yeah, you give it uh, some moment, give it a thought, see how you can figure it out, you know, but it's not it's nothing to really hmm ah man. Ten years from now, where do you see yourself? Where do you wanna be? Acting, directing, producer. The same thing. It's it's wonderful. I mean I enjoy what I do, I have a passion for it. Um, I I will be in the business. Yeah, God on my side, Jehovah, mm. for sure. Yes. And and what do you think is the biggest conception that people have about you? I really don't know. You don't know? Nah. But there are a lot of things out there, uh, from a nice guy to a lover boy to Mr. Romantic to arrogant to not knowing what he's doing. <laughs> well, what would you describe yourself as? <laughs> Me, I think I'm a really shy guy. Who wants to do what I enjoy doing? And, there's and that's nothing exactly wrong with what it. I'm doing. And there's nothing wrong with that. For real. 10, 2012. October 20th, 2012. All right, so I'm getting used to this. 10, 20, 12. That's October 20th, 2012. What's happening? Golden Icon Academy Movie Awards. I'll be there. I need to see you there because we will be there and they will be there. So you have to be there. Right? Rah! Stay easy. Fashion